Hello everyone, my name is Brian from Brightech.co.uk. This is a request from Ian from the Family Tree Forum.com to do a photo restoration on his photo. So we have your photo here, Ian, and I can see you've got some dirt up there. I'm using the photo that you've already done. So straight away, we're going to go to image mode and our GB color because you've got it set to grayscale now you can obviously play around with the channels but we're just going to create a backup copy I'm going to pull it in there so you can see I'm going to pull that down to there create a backup copy and then we're going to zoom in a bit and we're going to show you a few ways to clean this sky up so zoom in to the sky and uh, you can do a clone if you wanted to and once you've got a clean area started I mean, really, you ain't got to worry too much because there's nothing around that area, if you know what I mean. There's nothing that you need to worry about touching. If you're in a tight area, then you use different other methods, but just for this purpose. There's no clouds in the sky. Um, Let's just zoom it out a bit. There's no clouds in the sky. You can add clouds if you want to. You can maybe do a few tutorials just to help you guys out. Maybe some of the people on the forums will put a thread up there for tutorials if you're interested. So let's try and I'm rushing a bit here, so you need to sort of take your time a bit. And there is a loads of different ways of doing this. You can put a mask on, you can do a wash on it, you can do all sorts of different ways. You can use the scratch and dust removers, there's all sorts of different ways, but as you can see already, they all sort of get to the same sort of Now you need to zoom in obviously as well and really make sure that sky is clean but for the purpose of this tutorial I'm just going to leave it at that because we haven't got much time so from there as you can see it's a lot cleaner uh, the floor I can see some marks in the floor some sort of I'm not sure if they're supposed to be there. You can use your heating brush for that or your patch tool, grab a lump of that and drag it across. So we're gonna just grab that heating brush, make a selection there, and see if that works. Now sometimes it's trial and error. Oh, I'm not even in the camera there, hold on. So you need to just take your time really, I'm rushing a bit. You don't want it too smooth, well, otherwise it's going to look too fake really. But at the end of the day, you're trying to keep some life, some originality in the photo, that's what I try and do anyway. Right, okay. So you can go around and tidy this hole up much better than what I'm doing. I'm just rushing here. So the next thing we can do is we can actually just go straight up to filter, noise, noise reduction. 
and I've got this set on 10 strength preserve details 10 percent but you do lose a bit of detail but as you can see the before and after is quite it's like a slight blur but it's a it is cleaner click OK and then we can go uh, we can go down to levels put a bit of black in actually cancel that yeah ok go levels and you drag these up to the peaks basically that's just general a general thing what people do you can push, push auto if you like and then you can do curves same thing one dot there one dot there now this works a treat on out faded out ones that haven't got a lot of black um, ones haven't got a lot of white uh, and then basically you just put it back and then click OK I think you agree that's already 10 times better now you may you can spend a lot more time cleaning this up but I went a bit mad there but obviously you get the general idea now this really is bright white so you can tone that down a little bit you can put sepia tone on there if you want uh, basically there's a few ways of doing sepia tones but this is the quick way um, click on this and then pick photo filter and then just pick sepia and just pick something around the region of whatever you feels right click OK I mean, it's not really what I want to do but it just gives you a little bit of a tinge of colour and if you think that's still a bit too white you can put some shading in there or you put a, some sort of vignette if you didn't want to use your brush so we're going to just get a new layer on quickly and then edit fill with black like so and then we're going to get a marquee tool and then we're going to pull that down to like so you can make it dead even if the photo was right but I'm just lazy I can't be bothered to it's now half past 12 at night click on uh, feather push delete and straight away as you can see let's give you a little dark shadow around it like a vignette now if that was perfect you could have that right around the photo what we're going to do here now because it's too much we're going to take the opacity down like so and you can soften those edges if you want a little bit more or just click OK and I think already that looks a lot better so I'm going to call this one done thanks very much for watching I hope this helps you out Ian all the best until the next time bye for now